Welcome back to Smosh Mouth. We have another beautiful guest with us. My name is Amanda Lee Hancanto with my host. Shane Top. And this is our lovely guest. Hey, my name is Tommy Bo. Welcome to the channel. Yes. Welcome oh, back to Midnight good. at Midnight. It's midnight here always. This Eat. takes so much breath work Does to it? actually do. You Doesn't know. it? We'll be calling in the <laughs> love songs. We got another caller from Highway 20 about the love songs. Yeah, my wife is cheating on me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like horns in the background. We got another caller calling in. Um, yeah, my name's, my name's Dale, I, I'm working on a truck, I just want to say, uh, you know, I've been listening to you guys for a few years, and I want to say you're a really big fan. Dale, you're, we're going to have to ask you to speak Dale, up. Dale, we're going to have to ask you to speak up. speak up, Dale. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Dale, we're going to have to call 911 and have to hang up on you because we can't handle this. <laughs> Thank Anyways, you, here's the Commodores. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Guys, I could do that forever. Yeah. Um, we're here with Tommy. Yeah, man. What's up? It's Smosh Mouth. We're here with Tommy. Tommy, you're so silly. Hey, you're so silly. Hey, thanks. <laughs> Tommy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. When you do that, it doesn't work. No, it's not. Uh, Tommy, you're so silly, but also, I feel like you're a lot... <laughs> What's going well, Tommy, on? I've noticed that you are so silly. Tommy, since you're such a silly, silly boy, um, <laughs> we we realize that you are just like us, where you have a lot of ideas and inspiration probably constantly going in your brain. Oh, yeah. Is that true? I mean, it's... Con- it- yes and no. I'll have plenty of ideas. It's actually, it's actually about whether my brain is like, your ideas are good or <laughs> your ideas are bad. There's always ideas. It's more about right. the mindset, you know? Okay. Uh-huh. That seems fair. I would say out of all the cast, on camera, you have the most, like, insane jokes. Yeah. Your jokes are the most, I don't know where it came from mm-hmm. jokes. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is, I'm like, I get where the process came from. Oh, thank I get, you I get, very much. I get where that showed up. <laughs> Everyone else is pretty predictable. You, on the <laughs> other hand. I, I No, they can be unpredictable, but, I, but if I sit and think about it, I'm like, okay, Amanda clearly met someone. <laughs> At some point, mm-hmm. who just was insane, and she learned how to morph into that. Yeah, or I just am, you know, that person. I feel like I'm just like this big f-ing ball of body who's just in their house, like <laughs> turn on the TV. <laughs> I feel like there's a part of me that's like, what is that? What is that person in Star Wars? That big B. Jabba the Hutt. I feel like I'm halfway Jabba the Hutt of like a woman in her house, like turn on the TV and get me another glass of Chardonnay. Somebody get me a snack. <laughs> Yeah, so it kind of comes from that. Okay. You don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I really don't <laughs> at all. But but Tommy understands that, right? Oh, Tommy? absolutely. Oh, I'm full job, the hut. Job of the hut, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Job. I'm full job. Blow job of the hut. <laughs> Blow job of the hut. <laughs> That's our new character. Hey. Ideas. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally job of the hut. Totally job of the hut. So, right. like, when you have good ideas, are you like, okay, they're amazing? Do you have to like? Uh, so uh, w- what really happens is and it only I've I've noticed a pattern now like now I know so like cool then this happened last night so like it's crazy I feel like I get touched by like the comedy god sometimes oh. and I'm in bed and I'm like about Boy. to go to sleep it's always right then you I, get touched right not, in bed it's, yep. oh and you oh. know and I've got some traumas yeah um no but uh-huh. I I'm in bed I'm like getting comfortable and then all of a sudden it'll be like Oh, that's the direction this sketch should go in. And then I'll take out my phone and I'll be like, and then like two hours will go by and I'll be like, I just wrote a script. And then I'm like, okay. Yes. Wow. And then I'll go to sleep. It always happens like, bink, right before. And then I'm like, oh, thank God. I know. Me too. Yeah. Do you know, uh, I, I heard that Mitch Hedberg, the stand-up comedian. I the love. 90s, he would he would have a metal plate and he would hold a, pair, hold a thing of keys in his hand as he was going to sleep. So that, that's, because that's when you'd have the best ideas so, so they would come him to him, up? and he would wake him back up, and he would write down those ideas. Dude, I was obsessed with Mitch Hedberg. What's mm-hmm. another word for, what's what's a word for how to open doors or something like that? That's on a bagel. Open sesame. Wow, I butchered that joke. <laughs> he also has uh, no. It, it, and some are very predictable. He has the he has the one where he's just standing silently and just goes. Dogs are forever in the push-up position. Yeah. And you're just like, what? Yes. Oh, that's uh, great. I, I think I'm sort of similar. I, I don't know exactly. I haven't pinpointed exactly when my ideas come to me. They just show up sometimes. Mm-hmm. I specifically remember when I came up with the sassy leg infantry idea, 
I was just I was getting out of the shower and like I kind of had like a towel on. I think I caught myself in the in the mirror and I started like just kind of moving my legs like that, <laughs> like pointed around. And I was like, oh, oh, this is really funny. What if it's a drill sergeant? <laughs> and, and, that's right. and that's just where it, where it comes from. Uh, others I just don't know. But uh, in talking about all these ideas and stuff, we had this. Amanda and I were talking and we were like, what if we just delved into our notes apps on our phone? Because I'm sure we have a ton of, yeah, specifically our iPhones. Specifically not iPhone. If you have an landline. Android, if <laughs> you have an landline. Android or a landline, like the old job of the hut uh, lady in her kitchen, uh, don't, you can't write anything there. You can't. You can't. But if you have an iPhone and you have the Notes app, I don't know about you guys, but I have multiple different like lists of characters or ideas through the years and I always have to write new and I'm at a point where it's like yes. new, 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 new. Yes, yes. Oh, mm -hmm. I, you can see the different <laughs> layers. It's almost like uh, how geologists study the layers of time by looking <laughs> at it. You can study where I was at and, and all these things. Yeah. Mine is so disorganized and so stupid but the more disorganized and stupid looking a note is in my phone, generally the funnier it is. If it's really organized and well written and and titled it, I, actually, I, I, end up, I end it. up hating it it's it's yeah. not good and you have to really i for me i now have to give myself context clues because sometimes i'll go back and be like woman with hat i don't know I have what a i ton meant i like that I have so many right i have so many that's like man with that one shoe or like don't stop me i'll just have quotes awesome. don't stop me where i'm like like well, well i'll never figure out. out what that means Never. How many are in there when you're not sober? How many are in there when you're drunk? Zero. Zero. Well, that's not true. No. That's not true. If I am going, if I'm out, say I love people watching, that's where I get my best ideas, obviously. So sometimes when I'm out, I'll literally listen to what they're saying and I'll write down everything that they're saying. Like, quote, for, especially when I was in Boston. Oh, oh. Lord. And Character then, study city. And then if they're good, then I'll do like a series on them, right? Like Wet Cop. I had like wow. a Boston bartender, but or or shows. Like if if there's like a reality show of a character that I like, I'm like, oh my God. That is and, but I have to write down what they say. Mm. Because that is really like a true characteristic of, you know, a person yeah, absolutely. for me. I, I love need to get better about show. I need to get better about that, about people. Like I people watch. But I don't people watch with a like goal in mind. Mm. I'm not sitting there looking at someone and be like, oh, I need to turn this into a character. I'll just observe and be like, that person's crazy. Yeah. And then I don't think about it. There's one guy that still stands out. Where I really need to do this is at the gym because the gym has just oh, yeah. sure. insane guys. Oh, sure. Sure. Just insane guys. Yeah. Um, thinking back, there was a guy at a gym forever ago. This is like over 10 years ago. And every gym has this guy. It's a guy who's somewhere past 70 uh and he's but he's wearing all the shit he wore in the 80s oh. so he's wearing like cut jean shorts way too short Wet hot american summer vibes literally no this one guy he had an american flag bandana that he wrapped around his his head and he had that and he had the gloves and he had the and he had the tank top the, the American Gladiator. Literally, like he transformers into a motorcycle when he leaves. <laughs> yeah, and he's gonna give he's gonna give every guy tips or like, yeah. <laughs> see, that's funny. I love that because it's like when you see a character like that and you turn it into like something more. I feel like that's really such a fun way to like yeah. look at characters is like go like, oh my god, this guy. What if he turned into a motorcycle when he left? <laughs> You know what's funny that you said that? Yes, I was just on the East Coast and this guy was letting cars in and he's like this 90 year old man. Oh. And he always makes you like, there's like this this string that he holds. He always makes the women limbo while they oh. go under. He's like, oh. do a little limbo. Oh. And you're like, oh, not now since I have five coolers oh, in my hand. Shit. But he's like crusty and like from the sun. And he's always like, have a good day. And I literally, this whole vacation, I was like, dude, he turns into a crab at the end of the night. <laughs> his, literally, he's like, have a good day. And then all of a sudden, it's like all the cars leave, and he goes, finally. And it's like. <laughs> his little eyes go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, beep, beep. And the whole back, <laughs> <laughs> the whole back becomes like a crabby crustacean. Then he goes. Nah, 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 and goes now it's time for me to do a little limbo. Yeah. Now I get to limbo on the little rope. Because I'm a crab, I can perfectly fit under anything. And he goes back into the ocean. Yeah. That's what he is. He turns into a crab. That's where he belongs. 
Does it's every single one of your characters turns out to be a transformer? <sighs> Just not I, I always. I've noticed that about all of your characters. Sometimes, but I think that they all have the potential to turn <laughs> into an animal. They all have the potential to turn into an, an object or an animal. <laughs> the crab guy, though, I said it to my husband, and he was like, oh, my God, yeah, totally. I'm like, yep. Absolutely. So now every time I see him, he's like, do a little limbo. I'm like, so the ocean's calling you. You better get in there. <laughs> Your meat is very delicious <laughs> when you crack it open. I just said you want a sandwich. I'm going to boil you. <laughs> uh, okay, do we want to just get into our yeah, notes app? Sure. Because I feel like we're talking about a bunch of ideas. Yeah. Uh, who wants to here. go first? Tommy. Let's just share about. I think Tommy needs. Why don't we do like, should we do like a, a few like at a time? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, you know, share a couple. And then um, first I just want to like know. <laughs> God. Oh no! I just read my first one and I'm like, no, no. <laughs> my first one, I'm pretty. This is go ahead, Shane. This isn't even titled. Do it. This just has a few ideas just written on it. Yeah. First is in quotations. It says, "I think he's being ratatouille." After that, it says, "Anyone with a big hat could be getting ratatouille." <laughs> what? Oh, <laughs> is that from uh? Ratatouille? No. <laughs> Everything everywhere. E Everything everywhere. No, well, yeah, I guess that's that's. They made a ratatouille. They made they a ratatouille, made a ratatouille but I think it's funny to be suspicious of anyone with a the big, big hat, hat and that they yeah. could be getting ratatouille. I actually, that's actually funny. Any cowboy? Uh, any cowboy could be getting ratatouille. Mm -hmm. Any cowboy. Jake's Just suspicious. cowboys with the big, big ten-gallon yeah, hats. Yeah, yeah. What any if cowboy. I? What if I wear a big hat and go out in public and act insane? And make people think I'm being ratatouille. You just yeah. need someone like who like follows you around and goes, "I'm so sorry. He's just he's being ratatouille." Sorry, he's yeah. He, excuse There's him. There's a little rodent on his head, <laughs> pulling his hair. You're just in jail for the rest in of fact, your life. Do you have an almond? He might be a little hungry. <laughs> <laughs> the the mouse only eats, eats almonds. almonds. <laughs> uh, I have I have like okay. First of all, I have to throw this out of the way because I had a ran. I, I so what I did last night is I collected my randoms so that I'm okay. not like searching for five years that for makes all sense. my randoms. Yeah, perfect. And I had one that was just before you cry, you can say your eyeballs are rock hard. Quote: <laughs> I'm about to bust a duct. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! I'm about to. Bust a duck. I'm about to bust a duck. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> I want you, please, to say that the next time you're about to have a heartfelt <laughs> sob. Like you're in the middle of like a a real yeah. uh, real conversation yeah. with someone. Sorry. I'm about to bust a duck. That's actually really funny. I feel like that's a teenager son who like literally I walked into the mom role again. Uh literally can't talk about his feelings. So he's like, Mom, I'm about to bust a duck. <laughs> I'm a mom. My heart hurts. If I'm at the gym and I'm about to cry, I'm going to make sure to yell that out. <laughs> okay, good. I'm about to bust a duck. And then the guy okay. goes, jump on my motorcycle, and he turns into a fucking motorcycle. <laughs> jump on my motorcycle. I mean me. <laughs> I mean me. <laughs> Maybe we should all just read our first one and go around. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, here's mine. It's so dumb. When your hair talks to you, jump, jump, jump in a bun. You've got to be kidding me. What? What? Literally, what is that about? I don't. I actually don't remember this. Jump, jump, jump. When your hair talks, you jump, jump, jump in a bun. So wait, is that all supposed to be one idea? Or is that multiple yeah, things in yeah, one sentence? Is yeah. that what your hair is saying to you? I think your hair goes, come on, jump, 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 get in a bun. I don't I don't know, you guys. Okay. Okay. So so Might far, a drunk I, would say, I would say <laughs> so far Amanda's winning in just in <laughs> terms of you really write down anything. Yeah. I literally will write down anything. And see, it has to be a quote also. Because yeah. jump, jump, jump. Tommy, jump. I feel like yours is a full on like stand up joke. You guys. Bit stand up yeah. joke. Mine is sort of okay. a simple. Holy shit. This yeah. is just oh the my one God. new, new, new. You new don't put spaces? How can you, how can no, you? no, I don't put spaces. <laughs> I just do dashes. That looks like a novel. I just do dashes, guys. I love this. This is dash. just the one. This is one new new characters. If you search characters, you'll see like twenty of them. Amanda has one hundred years of solitude written in her <laughs> notes app. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay I have go a, ahead. I have another. This is all Please. still from this one. I have one note that has like five ideas. Uh, the other one says calling a plumber and Mario and Luigi come in and just fuck shit up. That's, great. <laughs> that's actually legit. That's just yeah. That's very much like oh, I'm trying to think of a smosh. 
Yeah, yeah. that's uh, that's snotty. like a try. A lot you can tell are like, oh, that was a try not to laugh idea that I wrote. Right, down. Absolutely. and that's very much one. Like, I need a plumber, and then two guys come out as Mario and Luigi and just throw plungers everywhere. Absolutely. You, you, Tommy, go ahead. I have. So then I started writing down like, le- okay. So let me. Okay, let me get through a few n- yeah, nonsense yeah. ones. So you want to read a cr- couple? You can read a couple. Read a couple. Wrong. Okay, I have, and there's no, there's no description past. You got it. POV, you're an NFT. <laughs> okay. Uh, Und- that's actually smart. Underneath that, my son is an NFT. <laughs> okay. And then underneath that, POV, you're the CDC. I don't oh, know. Cause it, oh, because it rhymes. Of, lots of fun letters. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You were having fun with letters. I was. You were having was. fun with letters. I like letters. I like POV. <laughs> Uh, but one that was also part of that chunk that I liked was dad convincing kid to be bad so Santa gives them coal because the dad is a train conductor. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, that's actually brilliant. That's that's weird. Like that's that. weird. Like, gotta get that my makes train me to run. feel so weird. Kids be bad for Santa, and then he's just like choo choo, and then it's ten minutes of him on a train. <laughs> yes. It's like a weird short son, film. Son, son, I need you to kill a man. <laughs> I need so much coal. We gotta get to Montana this weekend. I don't think we can make it. Here's how a gun, much, son. How much coal will Santa give you? <laughs> I like that it's a, it's proportional. I like that it's proportional sin. to how bad you are. <sighs> He'll give you that much coal. At a certain point, he is helping you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's doing a good thing. That's so good. Okay, I'll read a couple. God, one just says Nancy Grace. Hell yes. yeah. Which Absolutely. I'm like, there's plenty. Oh, you and could let, crush a Nancy there's Grace. There's plenty that I could do with and that. And may I say, that is all you had to write. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You just write Nancy Grace and you're like, got it. Got it. Got done it. and done. The key is to write as little amount as possible yep. that gets the point mm-hmm. across. And Nancy Grace sells it. Nancy Grace. Most of these are people that I've seen. I, I think a lot of these aren't middle of the night ideas. I think a lot of these are people watching. Yeah. Drunk guy with his dog. I should just call him Uber because I just want to wrap my arms around him and have him take me home. Oh. So I remember this guy. He literally kept calling his dog. He's like, I should just call my dog Uba because he's so big. I just want to wrap my arms around him and have him take me home. Oh, that's that's sweet. the sweetest and thing I, I've ever I heard. I wrote Block Island because that's where it was. Okay. Um. <laughs> this one, I don't get it. Oh, that's just my social security number. I don't get it. <laughs> the sister's metaphors. It's like having shit on your face. I'm good. Or a... <laughs> Or a house that's rotting and everything is great, but your clothes all smell. Wow. That feels um, dark. That's, <laughs> that's, there's a tone that's to That's Alanis one. Morissette. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's just a lyric from Alanis Morissette's uh, latest album. Guys. Can you, can you repeat that house? One? Wait, what? The repeat, sisters, repeat that whole thing. So I think I'm, I'm trying to make metaphors about sisters. Okay. About like having sisters, right? Having sisters. It's like having shit on your face, but you're good. I just wrote, I'm good. Or a house that's rotting and everything is great, but your clothes all smell. Your house Guys, is rotting, I don't feel this anymore. Great, but, your clothes, but your, clothes your clothes all smell. Guys, I must have thought it was genius because I really I wrote extra things. Wow, sounds like having sisters is uh, <sighs> fine, but also a little bit of a burden. <laughs> also, also this one, mom, mom, the woman who is bosses with death. See short film idea. <laughs> in, what? In, in parentheses. Have, like... I have a whole short film thing. Oh, okay. I love that. Yeah, guys. I don't f- know. This is not good. Okay, keep going. This is I, I dark. Have, I have two left on this one. This is my like a recent one. Uh, who can fall asleep faster challenge? <laughs> and then... I love <laughs> that. <laughs> if we just... You're live, going down, bro. A live stream of just... Okay. Um, and then uh, I just wrote Beans from Even Stevens. Um, wow. Oh, yeah. So I have that. That's a Nancy Grace. Right wow, there. that's Nancy Grace. Oh, this is a real dumb one. Ready? I don't know what mindset I was in when I wrote this. <laughs> Coyote Peterson getting bit by a bug. And then in quotations, it just says, holy crap. Oh, my God. It's immediately so bad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> that's just what he- <laughs> oh, it's inflamed already. Oh, oh. Dude, it's immediately so bad. And then what? underneath I wrote that, what if Coyote Peterson bit the bugs instead of, actually, that's just the plot of Man Spider is what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know who Co- Coyote Peterson is? No. Coyote Don't. Peterson's a YouTuber. Uh, he's this guy who wears a, like a really cool hat, uh, like a like an Indiana Jones type hat. And he, uh, he goes around the world and interacts with animals. He has like an animal YouTube channel. But m- his most viewed content is when he has like, 
horrible insects sting him. Wow. He'll hold out his hand. He'll like he'll have Fun. them bite him. Like it's insane content. He's my dream guest for Try Not to Laugh because he does a completely different he, thing. He, he, would just, <laughs> he would do anything. Yeah, so he should come on Try Not to Laugh and put the gloves on with bullet ants and <laughs> do the what dance. What the hell? <laughs> yeah. Um, Holy But crap. anyways, I wrote, I wrote that. So I think it was maybe in my head, like doing an impression of Coyote Peterson. I love it. I, I love see, that. See, that's the thing. You don't know. Like, you're just, like, trying to figure it out, and you just don't know. Yeah. All right. I, it, very related to that for some reason. I have – and I remember coming up with this idea and then being like, I'll never do this. Okay. Um, Steve Irwin okay. looking for shapeshifter. It's been all over these parts, shifting shapes. <laughs> and then in parentheses, the shapeshifter looks like Steve Irwin when he finds him. <laughs> And he's like, oh, eat. Oh. Wait. <laughs> oh. I think in my mind at the end of that, if that were to be like a sketch, the Steve Irwin we followed from the beginning is the shapeshift. That makes a lot of sense. I was about to say that. Yours and are the, actually the, pretty fucking he finds, cool and interesting. <laughs> he finds Steve Irwin, and that right. Steve Irwin goes, finally, I found, I found you. Exactly. And then it's this whole twist. Mine is mine. Mine are really, really. Amanda's having a break. Mine are really <laughs> dark. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Mine are really dark. Uh. Someone bad at hashtags. Hashtag no, I don't wanna. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hashtag, I love that. Hashtag no, thank you. Hashtag, no, I, I don't, don't wanna. Like thanks. I actually wrote that in as a hashtag. Um, this actually really happened to me. A woman at the gym complimenting, nice body, gorgeous body. How'd you get it? My husband sent me here because he said I'm getting fat. Oh. That happened to me in a gym bathroom. Oh my what? god! What? I was like, okay, thank you so <laughs> uh -oh. much. Holy shit! Yeah, I know. It's God. Mine are, are mine are dark. Oh, your bum smells. Prank calls. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> your bum smells. Prank calls. I didn't know you had an iPhone when you were twelve. <laughs> No, no, my sis, I, I, no. I, <laughs> <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't, don't worry. The amount of prank calls I did it. as a kid are fucked up. You were a prank call kid? I prank called kid? constantly, and I conference called. So I would conference call people, and they go, hello, hello. Oh, you just How's put them going? on the phone together? That's did awesome. You call me? No. That, We'd call like people who just broke up or a teacher and no. a student. Whoa. Oh, we You are went, hardcore. My 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 really good friend from home wants to get the prank call thing on there where it's two landlines going like this so they talk Dude. to each other. Dude. That's devastating. I I that's that surprises me. Then you listen in on their conversation. Isn't that messed up? Yeah. You were a You gotta I do was, you gotta do a little demonic shit when you're I was younger. a naughty, naughty. Okay, go ahead. I have one. This is a this is a full sketch. Or not full, but it's like Nancy part of Grace. it. This is like the idea of one. I probably wrote this really quickly. Uh, interior house. Uh, there's two guys, Davis and Brian. Davis. Yeah, man, I cheated on my wife. Brian. Oh, my God. Yeah, I feel awful. Holy shit, man. I don't know what to say. It's okay. I don't expect pity. Anyways, you see the new Barbie movie? Oh, yeah, I have. It's so good. You got to see it. Uh, I've seen it like three times. Oh, okay. Knock at the door. Oh, f My wife's home early. Whatever you do, do not tell her. Okay, okay. Oh, uh, Cynthia walks in. Oh, hey, Brian, what are you what are you doing here? Uh, oh, I just stopped by. We were talking about the Barbie movie, Davis. Dude, what the f***? Cynthia, Davis, what's going on? Nothing, babe. Davis was telling me how how he uh, how he saw it, and that's all. Nothing nothing else. Cynthia, you saw the Barbie movie, Davis. We've talked about that movie. It's woke. We agreed not to watch woke <laughs> movies. Davis, no, babe. I didn't see Barbie. I was too busy having an affair. What the f <laughs> Cynthia, I wish that were just the case, Davis, but I see through you. So it's a thing of like, don't the Barbie's tell, worse. Don't tell her. But he, and this he is thinks, a recent sketch. He thinks. He <laughs> thinks. Oh, don't tell her about the affair. Yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, don't yeah, tell her yeah, I saw yeah, the Barbie yeah. movie. And see? then it turns out Cynthia is anti woke. Fucking Cynthia is a bitch. <laughs> Cynthia, <laughs> that's, that's a dumbass sketch. Wait, I, I kind of love it though. What else? Uh, you want you want me to read more? Yeah, give us one. Yeah. More. Give us more. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, these are things that I I wrote down, and then I actually am, I pitched to Spencer and Alex for the games channel. And what was their response? Uh, I think they 
they haven't said yes or no yet. Uh, so I pitched. We'll get back so to if you. We <laughs> see this, if, later. If you Thanks, see this, Shane. If you see this on Smosh Games, you won't see it for a bit. Or maybe, I don't know. Uh, but if you see it, you know that it came from my notes app. <laughs> uh, sniper chess. So oh two people playing chess right here at this table. Mm-hmm. Someone's up there. And then have two people <laughs> on the other side of this set with sniper nerf guns. So after we both take a turn, they have a chance, and they're they're also on our teams. Like you have a team member and I have a team member. And your team member tries to shoot a nerf gun and knock my chess pieces off the board. Oh. And then it just counts to the chess game. Oh. So you get to just be like, after they both shoot their nerf guns, if they knock a bunch of my pieces off, you have a huge advantage. And that's sniper chess. I thought Kinda it was I thought it was shooting at you if you yeah. up a no, move. No. Like no. King is caught. That's I not how it works. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can you play chess? No, my husband can. I can. You can. I, Shane, I, I sort of, I know chess, yeah, I don't but know. not not. I'm not. I can good. play backgammon. I don't know. I don't know strategy, but I but I can play chess. And then I also had Jenga with pool cues, which I think is really fun. So like that. one of those big oh. Jenga sets. <laughs> Yeah. And then, and then instead of pushing it out with your hands, you have to use a pool cue and knock it out. Oh, you know what I thought? Pool noodle. I thought it was the pool cues as the Jenga. Oh, oh no, that's insane, guys! I'm so not well. Our brains are bad. I, our brains are bad. It's <laughs> okay. not. It, yeah, are, our brains. You said are bad. the right words. Insane. <laughs> uh, so th- that's those are some ideas. And now we're gonna probably get into weirder and weirder things from me. Great. So Tommy, but you go. Uh, yeah. Okay. So. Uh, a quick pivot to pivot right back in. One of, I, I, I used to say that my biggest fear was seeing an atomic bomb go off a little too far away from me to kill me immediately. So I have like a countdown of oh, knowing a, when I'm about to get killed, right? That's, that's a my very specific yep, fear. You're right. Have you seen uh-huh. Oppenheimer? I kind of refuse to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Don't see it. Yeah. Um, my new biggest fear is accidentally hitting someone while driving. Oh, like a pedestrian. That's, that's a big one. That's up there for me. Yeah, I, I am one. terrified of that. Anyway, so it, meditating on that first biggest fear, I am. At, I have this like idea for a sketch where like I see the bomb go off and I'm in my room and I'm like, shit, I'm about to die. I better. I, I'm like, let's put on my favorite song so I can at least listen to it while I die. And then I'm scrolling through my Spotify for like. <laughs> A minute and a half, <laughs> and I'm like, no, not that one, not that one. Um, which one do I want? <laughs> That's it. Oh my god! Wait, does that distract you from death? Well, you know, I figure like, <laughs> if you're going out, it's like, let me put on my favorite jam, and then I'm like, and then this no, is you? not that one. Uh, oh. no. And then the bomb's just like, <laughs> and you're like. And then you finally, you finally get to a song and you play, but you don't have enough internet connection for it to load. And you're like, oh. Oh. the Wi-Fi is a whoop. <laughs> <laughs> and That's then amazing. to lighten that, I have professional distractor shaking hands. Nice. <laughs> yeah, mine are getting to this. Look place. over here. <laughs> mine are getting to this. Place. Oh, whoa! whoa. <laughs> okay, these are just I don't even understand these. Fun with girls, yeah. Pop star in pain. There it is. Okay, uh, that feels good. No, I like that one. Champagne woman saying, "Don't go." Oh, what? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, don't go. I don't, like don't oh I, I think I know where you're getting at with that one. That's a woman with champagne. You're at a ball and like a guy's leaving, like a James Bond type of guy. And she's like, wait. She's like, don't go. Don't go. Don't go. Don't go. And he's like, I, I'm never gonna date you anyway. She's like, okay, bye. Okay. 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 Um uh Sephora mom trying to connect with kid. These are getting sad. Okay. <laughs> um, aggressive real estate agent. These are now just characters. I like Sephora mom trying to connect with kids. Like, son, do you know why I brought you here <laughs> to Sephora? It's because all of us wear a mask. <laughs> all of us put on layers. We all put on layers. I also think you we might be gay. We all wear a mask. Oh, brought you to Sephora. I also think <laughs> to get you started. Okay, this is a long one, and then I'll move on. This is this is when I actually listened to a woman and wrote down everything she I'm, said. I'm so excited for this. Mary at the bar. I'm getting a tattoo of my dog, Jaeger. I want it right here. So anyways, my son is in Alaska. Why the f*** he's there? I have no idea. So who's he, what's he, says he's a good shooter. Because you know he was in the military. And then he was like, well, what do you want? And they were like, for you to move to San Diego. And he was like, all right. And I was like, do it. F*** 
fucking do it. Don't live so far anymore. He's the best. Seriously. So who's he? What's he told him? It's a go, go. Huh? No, he's not going to move, but I'm going to keep telling that guy to call him till he does. <laughs> Anyways, drink your margarita. It's all the gold tequila so you can have a good night. You guys come into the bar hot. Guys. Whoa. <laughs> guys. She must have been talking and I must have been going. Yeah. But I'll never use I, that. I, I want I wish the writing would start to be like, hold on, guys. I need to stay on the phone with you. There's a woman that I woman. think is writing down everything I'm saying. I feel crazy, and but I'm I pretty sure. I start certain. doing it literally. But of course she had like a fing Boston accent. She was like, I got a tattoo of Yeager. He moved to he moved to Alaska, which I'm like fing moved so far away, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways. So how's your margarita? Gold tequila. <laughs> so if you read it in a Boston accent It all makes sense. It all makes sense because I swear they all have 500 stories going, uh, and then the cross, the past cross. They like cross. bounce between. Yes, you understand. You should be a court stenographer. I think is the name. Yeah, of it. yeah. You can. Oh, I also really want a job of being the court stenographer. Want to learn shorthand? I just want to go. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to do is play a role like that in a movie. Because if you watch them in the court, they're just going, and it's like scratch that from the record, and then they go. <laughs> <laughs> and then you wave a hand in front of their face that they can't see. You're like, wait. There is this amazing They're meme. really good at hearing. There's this <laughs> amazing it. meme that my friend's obsessed with of a court stenographer drinking. Like, she's drinking her coffee, but it's going too quick. This is real. And it spills. So she just goes, <gasps> of the whole mug. She goes, <laughs> <laughs> You have to I do a stenographer I character. have to. You I have just to. want to do a court <laughs> thing and then just quickly pan over to me and I'm just like, if you wanted to do it live, all you'd have to do is get an audio recording of a court and you you play it and you sit down just in the middle of the stage and go, wait, Tommy, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, Tommy that's brilliant. Is that my next yeah. moment show? And you don't have to like even say anything. It could be completely just. We should, <laughs> yes. You know what, you know what our, our goal should be? You know how <laughs> multiple times like every year a fake sign language interpreter ends up on a stage how? somewhere doing just and like, crazy shit? Like they're just. <laughs> They're doing the YMCA from the village people. Yeah. Like, and it's like a high up politician or something. I know. You should try to do that, with, but as a stenographer. Yeah, and sneak you're like, in. yeah, I can do it. Scratch this from the record. We need to get a, one of those, we need to get one of those shorthand machines and just see who can do it best. Nobody can. Well, we should try to learn shorthand. Okay. That's yeah. a funny goal. I would love to. Guys, maybe that's my one woman show. It's 45 minutes of me doing that. <laughs> I would watch it. That that's ter that's a performance art territory. I love that. Yeah. Um. I haven't. Okay. I actually uh, have to write that down in my notes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Can you write, write that, that down in your notes? <laughs> oh, you're scrolling to the top. I'm so you okay. have to put the new ones at the top. Um, I have a lot that are not jokes. They're just me trying to remind myself of things. I, I have one that just says clothes, and underneath that it says camp collar shirt, chinos. Oh. So I think that was me just trying to be like, here's some clothing items. Here's, I uh, here's some I clothes buy. I want to do. <laughs> uh, here's some stuff. Loud mime. Uh, you love mimes. You love a mime. Mimes are just funny to me. And then I have underneath that, I wrote, guy who is regular. And underneath that, I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Shane. Guy who is regular. That's me. <laughs> guy who is regular. Guy who is regular. regular. I'm going to do it on Try Not We're to not laugh. part of that. We're and not then part I, of that. No. And then I, then I have underneath that, I wrote, I wrote, guy who is not regular. No. What is wrong with you? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> Look at you this. You opened a whole new note oh, I write, just for I that? Do new, I do new ones. You're insane. That's so No, that's so what I do is I do new. Uh, that's why, that's yeah, why last that night I was just, like, I need to spend an hour. Are, like collecting these. You guys these. have to do it on one big line. No, no, that's psycho. You're, you look at you scrolling through it and like no the space. Bible. You can't have space. It's only no, separated that's by insane. dashes. insane. You're insane. It's on the road by Jack Kerouac. It's a <laughs> bullshit. Who, wait, who's a guy who's regular versus a guy who's not regular? I don't know. Guy who is regular. Guy who is regular. <laughs> hey, how are you guys who's not regular? Did you see my car? <laughs> I don't know. That's a that's guy who's regular. That's guy who's regular. You're right. Come on. You're right. You're uh, right. I have a, like a I have a lot of smosh games types or pit pitches. Uh, impossible question game. Two players have to ask pop culture questions they're sure the other can't answer. Okay. I guess it's like you go back trying to trying to ask a question you're certain that your opponent can't answer, and you go until one of you does get one does right. Does answer? Interesting. I don't know. 
Ask me anything about football. That'll 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 work. Who did Tom Brady play for? The Patriots. <laughs> Whoa! No, I, I love all right, that. video's over. Video's over. <laughs> and then it ends. Yeah, the video ends as soon and as. And then it ends, and then there's just snipers like. And then there's nerf nerf snipers. <laughs> Um, and then underneath that, I think this was a story idea. Uh, dream skippers. They learn that everyone is trapped within a single man's dream. That's so scary. <laughs> dream skippers. Wait, dream that's really skippers. scary. What? That's scary. Yeah. I you guys know. remember the movie The Cell with j I've never seen The Cell. I've also never seen it. Should I watch That's it? Anthony like Hopkins, stuck, right? She's like stuck in someone's body. Yeah, she gets oh. stuck in someone's it's like really mind. It's really scary. Yeah, yeah. That's cool. All right. <laughs> All right, guess I'm gonna watch it. Oh, this next app has a ton of shit. All right, we'll go. You go, Tommy. Go, Tommy. Uh, I don't know which one to like hop into here. Uh, okay, don't anyone? No one steal this. I'm. I might be making this, yes. but this was this was in here. HGTV's f my house, exterior house. <laughs> Host stands in front of a street. He's a handyman type, a bit too energetic. The HGTV logo sits in the bottom right corner. Um, uh, host, welcome back to HGTV's f my house. We sent Dave and Ron to a hotel so we could start working. Now we're ready to show off what we've done. The host approaches Ron and Dave, the owners of the house. They're blindfolded. Dave, Ron, take off those blindfolds. Dave and Ron <laughs> remove their blindfolds. Their expressions of hope turn to shock. Multiple people nude are humping the outside of the house. They <laughs> moan in ecstasy. Um, <laughs> and he's like, let's head inside and show you how we f***ed your living room. <laughs> Interior living room. The three men move through the door past a man who's, art, who's really into f***ing the wall. <laughs> how do you f*** a wall? I don't know. Where do you f*** Can you imagine? Honey, I love what they did with the kitchen. It's just five guys like, yeah. 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 Oh, that yeah. So <laughs> insane. Wait, you should save that. I thought it was going to be I a know. thing where they messed the house up really no. bad. <laughs> that it was very literal. Nope. That's Tommy. They Holy very much f***ed the house. That's brilliant. Hey, okay, thanks. Um, I went to a new notes app. Bob and Brad show how to stretch hips. They keep repeating names, and they respond with, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do not know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The brother of the heir to the throne. Creepy voice, high-pitched, always curious, always finding ways to hurt his brother. I think that's just Thor. I think that's just, like, the, the description of that's all the Thor yeah. movies. Yeah. I almost died like Bob Saget. Oh. That's a real one. A woman oh. said that to me in acting class. Oh, oh my God. she went. Whoa. She was wearing a bandage, a full bandage around her <gasps> head in acting class. Oh my God! I'm not Jesus. kidding. And she went. And we're all like, we were doing a check-in, and she was like, not doing well. And we were like, oh. everything okay? She went, I almost died just like Bob Saget. And I went, what happened? And she was like, well, I slipped down the stairs. Lucky I do yoga, so I barely got hurt. My limbs just went everywhere, and I was wearing a snow hat, and it protected me. And I'm like, but why do you have a bandage around your head? Okay, that's a real one. Anyways. Whoa. Uh, I kind of want to wear a bandage around my head to get attention. <laughs> yeah. That's great. I just have a little blood spot. I uh -huh. kind of want to do yoga, so apparently so I, you don't die, die ever. Yeah. Okay, here's another one. Security guard at trance. Fest. Trance, not yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> well, every time I went, what? every time I said I went to Trance Fest, people were like, "What?" <laughs> trance music. Yes. Security guard at Trance Fest. Thumbs up. Trying to signal like on an airplane. Big mustache. Really positive. Always aiding. Always aiding with the concert goers. I know it's a bad system, but I gotta follow it. Thumbs up. <laughs> what? The hell? hell yeah. This is a real it. guy that I was watching at Trance Fest, just like. <laughs> Dude. Kind of and then these... a plane lands on everyone. <laughs> <laughs> moving these people while the people were sitting in the dark, having gold, having um, glow on their fingers, going like, like this to their drugs partners. And stuff? No, they were going like this to their partners, and they they were like, <laughs> yeah. "This was transfest." <laughs> and the stenographer is there. <laughs> She's writing down all the beats. <laughs> thumbs up. It just says thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, I have one. I have a note titled "Dumb Ideas." So okay. You know it's gonna I'm be good. So Brilliant. Uh, TLC boardroom, which is, I mean, TLC the learning oh, channel. TLC. The learning channel, not TLC <laughs> like, like like. Okay, what if we did a song called No Scrubs? Uh, <laughs> 
No, TLC boardroom and like just them being the most messed up people on earth. Uh, it's like, yeah. all right, we got to show it. We, we need a show. And then having a guy be like, uh, shit. Um, MILF, <laughs> Manor, <laughs> and, uh, but make it like really weird and like incestual. And they're like, great, that's perfect. Yeah. That'll fit in. That could be a real show. Um, oh, speaking of fitting in, this is a show I actually think could work. Uh, maybe I would do someday. A show called Fitting In where I try to be a character that fits in at a crazy place. So like I go to like some kind of convention, but I try to I try to like oh. go try to these guys of being like so people would think that I belong there. And I interview people but they don't think I'm an outsider. So Shane at that. Burning Man. Yeah, and I try to be like a guy at Burning Man. A burner. A I burner. try to be a burner. Then you have to build like a wooden sculpture just yeah, like that. Tattered clothes. <laughs> uh I did pitch this idea and we decided it doesn't really work for logistical reasons, but I would love to How try. How many ideas did you pitch that Alex and Spencer went? Oh, we'll this call wasn't. You. Uh, these are, I, I don't always pitch it to them. I pitch it maybe to like Kiana or to the social department. Um, Cast paints art and donates it to Goodwill to see whose ends up being worth the most. <laughs> like we all paint stuff, we donate it to a Goodwill, and then we return to that Goodwill and Aren't see what, all, what how price. Much? So like whose is like, oh, your painting is only, they Wait, only, they're only I selling it for a dollar. The problem is that. that when you donate it, they don't necessarily sell it at that same Goodwill. No. So logistically, it was it's tough to be like, to where is it going to be at? Yeah. Have you um, been to a donating center? Yeah. You have no idea oh, where I it's donate going. So you much could stuff. Do, what if you did like a, 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 a Buffalo Exchange or a Crossroads? I mean, yeah, maybe that, do they do? The Crossroads do not, they don't do they'll art. be like, I'm sorry, just is this Gucci? Right, no, I know. Take I don't know. <laughs> That's why I do Buffalo and not Crossroads. Yeah, Buffalo. Um, I don't think they take art. No, they don't. I was just saying they're they're more they singular. <laughs> Can you imagine buying art at Buffalo Exchange? <laughs> it's I don't even know what it would be. Women with like sunglasses on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. last one here before I move on. I'm not done with this note. We'll come back to this, but uh, it says D and D. Either a druid who talks to animals, or a human or demon who is a salesman who is a warlock and makes deals with the devil. Wait, you already, you're already you doing half of that. I Well, yeah. I, I, I wrote this down before we did. <gasps> this, is from, this is from April 3rd. So this is before we started D&D. That's, That's huge. crazy. I know. So That's that what was, you that wanted. Was like, oh, I'll be a druid. That's what you Anyways, wanted. Tommy. Similar, wow. Similarly, like ages ago, I don't have it in front of me right now, but I saw it in one of the earlier swipes that I was doing. I wrote, oh, I found it. This was, I think, like 2019 or 2018. Fake reality show reunion as a framework for sketches, which we did. Yeah. Fake. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, well, it worked and it was funny. Um, and then uh, <laughs> I have finished this sketch in huge, bold letters. Right. Jesus in a saloon. <laughs> Cowboy. Who's the new guy? <laughs> Bartender. Oh, that's just our Lord and Savior. Praise <laughs> him. Jesus with a cigarette <laughs> and hat looks up, nods. <laughs> that, that's it. And you need like to folders. finish that sketch. You're like, it's finished. <laughs> it's finished. I would watch that. That's a Christmas movie. Yeah, that's Hallmark in 20 seconds. <laughs> like, yeah. like Jesus that's, in like a no, saloon. No, that's being like, Jesus, Lord our Savior. He's like, hmm. Howdy. So, that's Jesus, Lord our Howdy. Savior. God bless him. <laughs> Uh, and then I have, uh, th now we're getting into just like tr uh, garbage territory. Yeah. Professional friend gets too many friends, becomes overbooked, no longer professional friend. Oh, That's so sad. <laughs> Great. Professional friends. Friend. Too, many friends. Too, many friends. too many friends. Too many friends. Snapper in a band, documentary, The Snapper. <gasps> Wait, I actually what? love that. <laughs> Yeah. That's right next to the stenographer. Yes. <laughs> Literally, guys. That's really Do you remember there was a guy on America's Got Talent named Johnny Rocket Fingers who was like a professional a, snapper. Wait, like yeah. a quick familiar. snapper? He was a quick snapper. And he actually was pretty pretty talented. You guys, this is this is derailed for one second, but do you guys ever watch shows and only watch the background actors? A hundred percent. Movies and I only love... watch the extras. Oh, if I'm rewatching a movie. Do it. Yeah. It's the funniest it's the thing well, you've like ever Well, like Spider-Man, I think it's Spider-Man or Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire has a woman in the background that you see at one point in a big like crowd scene where like Spider-Man <laughs> shows up to fight the Green Goblin or Dr. Octopus. You see a woman in the background doing like shaking her head back and forth very dramatically. She goes like this. She goes, that Spider-Man. Stop. You can clearly Stop. see her. You can very clearly see her. Dude, I love watching background actors because they go, Oh, they're what? they're selling it. 
They're yeah. selling it. So sorry, I just had to do right. A, a friend of mine did background acting or uh, was recently in a background. I think it was like a, a more, it wasn't like a big, big film. It was just like a smaller film or whatever. And they kept cutting and giving notes and he was the only one getting notes. They were like, Ted, you're doing it too big. <laughs> They're like, no. scale it back. No. <laughs> no. I love that. Right. I love that. Ted. No, he's great. Ted. I love it. I love it. All right, what you got? In okay, mind? read us some. Like other you said, you're going into garbage shit. territory. Yes. I've been there. All right, so I'm gonna just continue in garbage territory. Great. Store clerk who is too involved. Oh. Store clerk who takes it personally. The person who is hurt that you won't buy anything from your store. Guy at eyeglass place. Hi, welcome. So glad to have you here. I love your hair. We have a lot of spots already. So hi. So highly suggest booking an appointment with me now. What's your name? Your name? Just to check. Your insurance covers you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Take your time. I'll be right here. Just watching. <laughs> okay, that's one. Oh, and then I wrote bye, and then I wrote in, in parentheses, tears. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, telenovela stars. That's it. There you go. No, I totally Again, get that's it. An telenovela Nancy Grace. stars. That's an Nancy Grace. Um, you guys are fun. That's just one. Oh, thanks. That's probably someone going like, you guys are fun. Yeah, you <laughs> guys are fun. Were you not there? Ian said that to what? Ian said that in a Bepperdy. I I he, saw the clip. Yeah, yeah you, you guys, guys are, are a, a good group. group. You guys yeah. are a fun group. That's basically this character where someone's just like, "You guys, guys are, are fun. fun. <laughs> you you guys, guys are so fun. fun. You guys are fun." <laughs> and he's in a, a cage with a bunch of gorillas. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fun. You guys are fun. Um, this is a really old one. Okay, and it says wet cop. Whoa. Whoa! This one is from, this one is from October twenty twenty two or something like that. Which maybe it. Oh, so that right, right, cop? right before you started doing yeah, wet cop, that must have been like right before. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, wet cop, and then um, Irish UPS man, which is definitely a TNTL that I wrote and did. Nice. Yeah, I had that last night. I was like, oh, I've done. I, that, uh, yep. I was like, these are this. all of my I'm TNTL ideas. Point. Yeah, I'm getting to the point where some of these. Oh, this one's the last one. I'll just do one more. I almost died last night. Did you see me trip? Question mark. What? Guys, I don't know what. And then I just have my dad's name on here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> What's No, what? I love this because I don't write down ideas until they're ideas. You know what I mean? Like you are, you have these like a bunch of starters. These are st And you have some starters. real ideas in there too, of course. And then you have like, you yeah. know, not to discount it. anything. I just like, I should be doing this. No, it's these great. Are, these are You're starters, leading the charge. And they're, they're mainly based on, they're like from the start of a character. Like right. they're rooted in. It's really cool. Yeah. Oh, these are not. I write them and I don't reread them until I need inspiration. That's smart. That's, that's the best huge. way to do it so you don't judge it and erase it. Yeah. That's wow. Mm -hmm. Just write I'm starters. Learning, I'm learning from you write today. Write starters, guys. I'm learning from you today. Pretty Thank cool. you. Thank you, painter Barbie. You're so welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I left Ken and I started, I became a human and I decided I'm going to paint houses. <laughs> Pretty cool. Pretty cool. <laughs> um, I have. Uh, uh, R.I.P. Uh, I have an uh, let's do this pitch, which I did pitch and they liked it Aww. and they wanted to do it, but we didn't get to it, which is how to hide a dead body. Um, and I, I kind of love that. Yeah. And I still think it's a challenge that we could I love it too. Like if we have a dummy and we just see who can hide the dummy in like two minutes and who can find it. In Wait, two that's actually brilliant. Um, and dark. I like it. Yeah. Uh, I wrote. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways. I wrote a uh, fresh banana hanging out with a ripe banana and being influenced by them. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been around for a minute. <laughs> and the See ripe all... is all like brown and yeah. not like See all these yeah. spots? spots. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be like me if you hang out with me. <laughs> yeah. I learned that from Hank Green that ripe bananas release a uh, enzyme or something. Oh, that sick. that. That that ripens bananas, so that's why if you have fresh bananas next to ripe bananas, those fresh bananas will start to become ripe really fast. Oh my god, I've been so fucking doing it wrong my whole. Yeah, life. you want to uh, you want to like just try to eat your ripe bananas or turn them into banana bread. And or does it do it to other fruit? No, I think just bananas. Bananas influencing bananas. So bananas. you're saying I can put a brownish banana next to a freshest banana, and that'll make the fresh banana better to eat sooner. Yes, so ripe. Yes, yes. Okay. yes. Great. That yes. is that is also true. Uh, I think. I'm not a scientist, but Hank Green told me that. Uh, 
Okay, this is a sketch that I only have the like premise of, but I actually love this sketch and I've thought about it more over the the months. Dart destination date and she throws it on your best friend's house. So she's going to go stay with him for a week. Wait. So I ha- I know some people Like when you throw a dart at a map and you're like we're going there. Yeah, I had some friends who were like, "Oh." <laughs> and so he was like his 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 thing. birthday gift to her or anniversary gift to her was like, "Hey, take this dart. Here's a map of the world. Throw it." and then we're going to spend a vacation there. And she perfectly threw it at, like, it landed in Italy. It's like, okay. Uh, okay yeah. But, She's like, and maybe I'm maybe it's a, maybe it's a thought, maybe it's a thought start. Maybe it's like, put put it on the, but I like the idea of like, okay, take this dart and throw it. And it's like, it's like okay, throws it. Perfectly, it's like, wow, that landed Los Angeles. Okay, let's, let's get in closer. It's like, oh my God. Oh wait, that's, that's two blocks away. That's, oh, that's, oh my God, that's, that's Greg's house. That's crazy. And then just like being like, well, I guess we're going to go. It's like, oh, and he's like, oh, I only have one bed. Like I don't have enough room for both this of feels you. Like a 90s <laughs> rom-com. Yeah. Does it not feel like no, a 90s does. rom-com? And it's like, yeah. meow, meow, when they land in LA. She's like, huh. And he's like, I only have one bed. And the boyfriend's like, uh, uh. I guess I'll go home. I guess I'll go home and leave you guys to That's kind of the end of that run of that one. Um, uh tommy uh find your wife pi what <laughs> i think the idea hey, that's a starter that is a starter that's a I good th- starter i think the idea there was like like my dad would always be like where's pam like in the house just like where's pam and like hiring a private investigator to find your wife inside your own home <laughs> is your, like is the your, idea. your mom's name is pam pam so my dad's girlfriend's name is pam wait oh and he always goes like where's pam can, can Pam, does Pam have trouble lifting her arms above her head? Yeah. Oh, she that actually, might be my mom. Yeah, so she should have done so yoga. She, really quick, Tommy. Yes. I came across another another note called Characters, and the first one is Loud Mime. I've written Again? it. Again? <laughs> you I've, are, I've written it several times. You are so out of control. Loud Mime. And then we really love wrote, that. When we wrote ske- dumb sketches with Angela. I wrote the Mime family where they're Loud Mime. You're mimes. upset. I finally got it out. I think I just finally got it done with. Um, you purged it from your brain. That's uh, freaking hilarious. Loud mime. Loud mime. Oh, I I have one titled "Try Not to Laugh." We can <gasps> we'll get back to that. I have one wow. too. Tom, is t- Tommy? Do you have any? I'm ideas? I'm just hunting now. I I really I, I just have character ideas like character starters. I really really want to do a like teenage girl stage manager for a theater show. Oh. You know I love being that. like this weekend. I reviewed all of the cues, guys. We're gonna need you to do. You know, like I don't have it like written yeah, out yet, but I just that's like good. that's you such know, a person. I love you know, didn't I kind of play a character like that in one of a Smosh video that I punched myself in the face? <laughs> what? Remember with what Ian, Rick? where I'm like, everyone shut the f- up. And he was the director. He's like, thanks, Molly. Like, thank you. I, I think it. I remember it that. It was like an old one. Oh, like a sketch sketch. A like, sketch here at Smosh. Oh, like a main wow. sketch. Yeah, like, like a main sketch. Oh. I think it was like three and a half years ago. That's crazy. Because I was like, this is a character that I love to play. Holy crap. So it's such a, it's such a fun character. You want to put on a wig or you want, you want me to do it? Let's do it. We can oh, let's do it together. Do, let's do it. Oh. So, I'll take right. I'll take left stage. You take right. <laughs> Cues. That's so funny. What else you got, Amanda? Okay. A horrible ones. Actually, this one's kind of fun. Young shitty motel clerk, girl. No blood, no semen, no ranch. That's our biggest rules. <laughs> <laughs> ranch, is, ranch is really hard to get out of the carpet. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that one's pretty fun. I should have done that. Uh, That's fun, actually. That is fun. Put that, throw uh, that to the right. top. Gotta throw it move. to the top. I'll, I'll throw that one to the top, or I'll star it a million times. That really gets me in. Uh, the stars. Yep. What's up? You look depressed. There's food in the fridge, air in your lungs, and it's a gorgeous day out. <laughs> That's actually like a direct what quote from my mother. I was about <laughs> to oh say, who God. said that? Why do you look depressed? There's there's food in the fridge, air in your lungs, and it's a gorgeous day out. Wow. Get out that, of that, that, is, that is what a boomer says to someone who looks uh-huh. like that. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, Lyft driver. Do you believe in ghosts? I was on the toilet once in a hospital, and the light kept turning on and off ghost this is like a real quote from a real person most of these are real quotes i love this holy shit yeah my also do you guys do videos and attach it to your notes never what no <laughs> what you <is> recorded <laughs> so this is like an idea like you've written yeah what like, the are hell you, are you vulnerable enough to play one of them for Maybe, us yeah she carries a 
there's a satchel of dirt in her head. Just as you hear some dirt from New Mexico and breathe. <laughs> I just felt like you needed to get grounded. Because I see a lot of trauma and a lot of fear and a lot of pain behind her. Guys, I did her. I was stage. about to say, I remember her. I did her on stage. Whoa, I just got a crazy vision. <laughs> You're just talking to yourself? Yeah. I get a lot of them in the car. That's your spot. And when I do, I film myself and talk like the character and I add it to touch my notes. <laughs> You're still going. Oh, this is I a minute it. 30. Sometimes I have five minutes. Holy. So oh, when I get it, crap. I have to do the voice and the character or else I lose it. It's like you got to get it out so while it's here. You should upload those onto Instagram if ever they're... If they're Find a pose. Yeah. A lot of these I can't show because I'm naked in a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll get out of the shower with my hair soaking wet and I'll be like, all right, we got to share this trip. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea that your husband's like, why don't you send me a nice photo? So you send that, you're like, hey, listen here. <laughs> I've been through it. He's like, you better wipe your ass. <laughs> He's like, oh, this was not what I was Oh, he's on his computer playing video games, and I'm like, you better watch your ass, you piece of shit. That's a healthy relationship right there. Guys, literally, yeah. It's it's full on over here. Oh, my God. Um, Oh, my God. Uh, I have one here that I... uh, So this is a note titled Try Not to Laugh, and I always have one like this. That's smart. And a lot of my Try Not to Laugh jokes come from this. Like, for instance, You're My Favorite Pizza Place was... It was a note. It was a note. It was wow. a note that I had written out. Um, so cool. Uh, here's one that I haven't done yet, but I think I want to do it soon. Ooh. Uh, in Review. Fact, I probably would have one of you guys help me and be the like announcer. So it's a commercial. Fun. So I would oh. walk out uh, onto the set, and I'd be kind of sniffling, and I'd just be kind of like, oh, man. And then and you'd be like, seasonal allergies got you down. You're like, I'm like, yeah. And it's like. Flobutrin can be used to treat uh, seasonal allergies. And, I, and all of a sudden I have it, and I'm like, oh, and it's like, it'll brighten up, it'll clear out everything. And I'm like, yeah. And it's like, um, uh, but it can cause one side effect. And all of a sudden, I just want to slowly just be like, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> And I would like to start charging around the set and like have maybe someone walk out and I'd like grab them and I like beat them to the ground. I'm just like, I'm, like freaking out, just like <laughs> <laughs> and then, That's a pretty good. And then after I, I stop monkey. I stop for a second, I kinda You're like chimp? stop and I, I, I go silent, but I'm still full chimp. And then uh then the announcer goes, bloating. <gasps> <laughs> Wait, I don't get it. The, the, that's not the side that's effect. That's not the side effect. It's like there's one side there's effect. There's one side I, effect. I act like a chimp and it's like bloating. Dude, wow. Yeah. That's freaking intense. Um, I love to that. Damien. I, feel I like could Damien do that to would Damien. I love that. Uh, I wrote down Cool Nan, Conan, the barbarian, but with metal hair and sunglasses. <laughs> and then I wrote, uh, We now return to Dumpster Wizard on the CW. Uh, dressed sexy with a white emo wig. Hello, weary travelers. Looking to enter the forest, huh? Best be careful. I've seen many travelers enter. None returned. returned. He gives them a thoughtful look and then a smirk. Plays harmonica. <laughs> Hell yeah. What? I love that. Yeah, I, I'll probably sp- spice that one up a little bit. But. <laughs> probably need to make that Didn't one. Didn't work in the room, but I we'll need to make that one. I it to Alex and Spencer, and uh, they're going to call me in a week. Uh, um. Yeah, um, uh, Tommy. Do you have any- this isn't. This is a good like little end because it's just like a, it's like how I started, like with the with the, I'm about to bust a duct. It's just like it's. This is a tweet so basically. Funny. Um, a YouTube video titled "My Mental Breakdown," but every time I sob, it gets faster. Oh, you know oh. those. You know those YouTube. <laughs> That's that's the most online thing. Yeah, I know. <laughs> what? There's They're- like YouTube videos where it's like. Uh, you know, the Smosh cast, but every time Amanda laughs, it gets faster. Like that's yeah. like a type of YouTube video. They, Got they, it. Well, a famous no, one is a famous one that's online is it the entirety of the B movie, but it speeds up anytime someone says B. Oh, and I've, so by the end, it's just lightning fast. Okay, I've missed this whole. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's thing. an it's an older show. again. This is like an old note. <laughs> so anyway, that's a good little bookend. That's a, good bookend. <laughs> it's a little bookend to my whole like thing. That. I guess maybe I'll have one one bookend. Okay, I have another I almost died last night. What is wrong with me? This I absolutely did on TNTL. This is my TNTL one, which I okay. stopped using because all of these are old. 
I now just go in and f wing it. Uh, my husband keeps digging a hole in the backyard, and I have no idea why. Question mark. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely did this one with that's you. Great. Yeah, wow, that's great. Wow, that's so fun. Holy crap. I, I have a ton more, and I guess we'll just have to do this again sometime. I think we'll have to do this again because I have uh, novels. Yeah, and I'd videos. say, holy crap. And videos. This prompt was so inspiring to me, I just like can't explain. I uh, Thanks for having me on, thanks for like letting me do this, but also like literally just like the, the prompt of like, oh, look at the funny things in your notes app. I'm like, I haven't done that in forever. And right? I'm like, wait, there's some good shit in here. And also you can start with just like one sentence sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yep, stenographer. <laughs> we got gold out of this. Let it yeah. be gold. Oh man, well. Thank you, guys. This has been great. Thank you, Thank you, guys. you Tommy. Hey, thanks. You're the best. Oh, You're the best. Man. Guys, that was Smosh Mouth. If you have a moment, go through your notes app and just laugh. Yeah, write down in the comments below the, the dumbest thing you have in your notes app. Yes. Mm -hmm. Put it in quotations and then post it down there. Yes, exactly. Um, all right. All right. All Get right. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. Shoo.